Hi everyone, this is Satyajit. Uh, welcome to my channel Cloud Journey with Satyajit. So today we are going to discuss about how we will connect to your private EC2 instance in AWS environment. So generally the private EC2 instance created in the private subnet, which we cannot access it directly. In some of the customer who accessing the private EC2 instances, uh, they're using either any jump server or they're using any VPN sort of things like uh, client VPN, open VPN or any Sophos VPN type. So today we are going to discuss about all such tools or all such utilities. So which we are using, using to connect to your private EC2 instances. Okay, if you see my diagram, so there is AWS environment in AWS cloud in the Mumbai region, we have a VPC. So inside the VPC, we have two subnet. One is public subnet and one is private subnet. Okay, in the private subnet, we have two EC2 instances like app server one and app server two. Okay, so now customer wants to access these two EC2 instances. So how they are going to do? Okay, so generally uh, we have multiple ways. One way is like we can connect to the instance from a jump server like Bastion host or else we can connect to that instances using open source like open VPN or AWS managed client VPN. Or another option is we can use AWS SSM system manager. So today we are going to discuss with uh, how to connect to EC2 instance using Bastion host. Uh, generally the Bastion host is a jump server. Okay, So this jump server will be created in the public subnet and, and the persons who wants to access to the private EC2 instances, they have to connect to the public server and from that public server, they can access the private EC2 instances. So that public server generally we called as a Bastion server. Okay, so, so what are the steps we require to create a Bastion host? Like we can create a EC2 instance. Okay, and uh, that EC2 instance should be in a public subnet. It must have a public IP. Okay, once the EC2 instance will be created, uh, then we have the private EC2 instances created in the private subnet. And once... Uh, then the security group, we need to open the security group in the Bastion server. Like it should be, the SSH port should be open. The 22 ports should be open for the respective users. Let's say 10 number of users. We can uh, add the 10 numbers of public IP to the security group of the Bastion server so that only the 10 persons can access to the public server. Uh, with, uh, but there, there is a challenge because Generally, the uh, IP is frequently changed because our IP are not static, the router IP. So if the IP will be dynamic, then there will be a ch uh, challenge. Like every time they have to, when they use the new session, might be that time the router IP got changed, then they cannot access to the jump server. On that situation, some of the person or some of the um, customers, they use 22 port open to the world. Okay, but uh, which is again uh, not uh, recommended because 22 ports should not be uh, open to the world. So that is a challenge in the jump server concept. So to overcome that, that uh, client VPN, open VPN or SSM that came into picture. So that we are going to discuss in the in the next uh, next videos. On these videos, we will concentrate about the Bastion host. Okay, so on that Bastion server security group, we will only open the 22 port for the uh, the IP of for this uh, static IP or, or for this only public IP of the particular user. Okay, once that is done, then we can create the private EC2 instance. So on that private EC2 instance, on the security group, we only open for this Bastion server IP only. So that once we connected to the Bastion server, then only we can access to the private uh, servers or else we cannot access the private server uh, anywhere okay so uh, let us uh, i have created the my environment so we can go to this vpc setup so i have created one vpc if you see you can create one vpc so on that vpc i have three subnets like one public subnets and two pair of private subnet so in that public subnet if you see the route table there is an internet gateway but in the private subnet uh, there is no route to the internet okay so from that we can identify which one is public and which one is private uh, when there is an internet uh, associated to the route table of that particular subnet then that will be a 
public subnet if there is no route to the internet that is treated as a private subnet so if the ec2 instance i have created so i have created two ec2 instance one is jump server and another one is the app server if you go to the jump server security group there is only i allowed 22 port to for my public ip okay and and for the app server if you see the security group all traffic I allowed only to the Bastion server IP that is 10.0.1.72. If you see the IP of Jam server, it is 10.0.1.72. Okay, so now uh, we have to connect to the uh, Jam server. So I have to go to the terminal and uh, I already uh, used the IP. So private key already pasted in the folder. So this is the my IP of this uh, Jam server. If I connect, so Okay, so I'm not in the download folder. So I have to go to the downloads folder. So I need to access the server. So now I'm able to access to the private EC2 instance, sorry, uh, the public EC2 instances. So now inside that public EC2 instances, I need to connect to the private EC2 instances. So I already pasted the IP. So private IP is 10.0.254. So I'm able to access to the private IP instances now. So, so to access the jump, now we are able to access the private server. But if I use the same command from my local machine, let me exit uh, from this session and also exit from the uh, bastion host. So if I use this, it will be say as connection timeout or requested timeout. I cannot access it because the two conditions, one is it is privately accessible okay so i cannot access it and second one is in the security group the port is not allowed because the port 22 is allowed only for the jump server ip or bastion server ip okay so this is one way because the jump server the bastion host is one way and the challenges is here are the challenges uh, to maintain the public ip in the security group if the person the user okay if a user will be more than 60 or more than 70 so there will be a limit on the security group we can connect uh, five security group in the ec2 instance or six by latest but again it will be a challenge every time the users need to frequently change the ip okay because uh, generally the uh, user's ip or router ip is uh, not uh, static it is a dynamic so there is a challenges to overcome that challenge the open vpn uh, which is a open source the open vpn or sophos vpn or xcdm that tool are available and also aws managed client vpn tool will be available using that we can uh, able to connect to the private ec2 instances okay i think uh, uh, thanks for watching this uh, we will again uh, connect to the next one like uh, how to access the private server using the client vpn